can you call me a princess? I am just a commoner like you. My princess, your father may, may behead me. Now, princess. of this kingdom are on their feet again. Adam. Adam. What? Adam, what is it? What happened? Was I... Was I running... Adese. To your father. What is happening to you? Nonya called us and said you're having troubled sleep. And we came here and see you fidgeting on the bed. Wait, you mean I have been in the room? Yes, you have been here. Ah, <sighs> thank God. Adese, is there anything? you would like to share with us? No. It's fine. Are you sure? I'm fine. Okay, why are you blocking me? Can't you see that I'm going out for workout? My prince, there is an order from the king. You are not allowed to leave this palace without a palace guard. <laughs> are you being serious? So tell me, how are you going to do that while I'm running? My prince, as you can see, I am ready for this job. Allow me to do my job. Now listen, I don't want you to go with me, all right? Uh, my prince, please. I don't want your father, the king, to behead me. Now leave here before I kick your balls. I am doing my job. Stopping me? Uh, uh, my prince, I am I doing... said I'm gonna kick your balls! Right here and now! Uh, my prince, I am doing my job. Hey, talk to your colleague, all right? I'm talking to you. Talk to your colleague. Tell him to let me go out. My prince, that's the order from the king. Even you. 
You've been showing yourself, right? I did it. Go and get prepared. Hmm? Your mother will take you to the hospital. No, Dad. No. I have been to the hospital countless times. And the doctor said I'm fine. So there's no need. Adese, you can't tell me that. Eh? It's obvious that you are not fine. Can't you see? Your Majesty, sir. Yes. The prince is forcing to go out without a guard. Didn't you tell him about my instructions? Your words were clearly stated to him, but he's trying to alter them. What is wrong with this boy? Eh? I, I need to see him. He's becoming too stubborn. Daddy, just take it easy. Go and prepare, go and prepare. You have to go to the hospital. Get off my way! I said, get off my way! Get off my way! I'm gonna punch your eye! Get off my way! What's wrong with you? Get off my way! It's a direct order from the king. Oh, get off all this that you're talking about! Get off my way! Get yeah, off my way! What's going on there? That's the one. Stop this rubbish! Stop it this minute! You disrespect me! When you disobey my orders, your orders discredit my freedom. How can I be living like a captive in a kingdom that I'm heir to the throne? Exactly. As an heir to the throne, you can live your life the way you want it. An heir to the throne of Amadou kingdom is not an ordinary person. Father, you should have left me in Canada. Because I, 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 I can't take this. I haven't been caged like this all my life. Exactly why I brought you back from Canada. You have to learn how to live like a king. To be an heir to the throne of Amadou kingdom is a privilege, an opportunity you must be happy to have. Father, honestly, I can't take this. How can I be living like a slave in my own father's house and you say that I'm heir to the throne? Does it make sense? No, it doesn't. Living like a slave in my own father's house. No, Dad, it doesn't make sense. Keep quiet, idiot. Okoba, make sure that he doesn't step an inch from this palace except he has a guard. Is that understood? I wish you my command. Good Majesty. Good morning, Your Highness. Dr. Silas, how are you? I'm fine. I hope you're fine too. I am fine, but my daughter is not fine. She always have troubled sleep. Um, the last time she came here, she complained of this same issue. But I ran a test on her and we couldn't find any problem. So what could be wrong? Um, medically, I can't lay my finger on anything. But I referred her to a counselor because I think she might be battling with some issues she wouldn't like to share with anybody. No, no, that's not true. You see, my daughter and I bit in the same bathroom. So she wouldn't hide anything from me. Um, madam. She is medically okay for now, but nevertheless, I will keep drugs with her medical reports. Please, do, because I don't want anything to happen to my daughter. I assure you, nothing will happen to her, okay? Okay, thank you. Nothing to fear. Your Majesty. I think it is time you made peace with the chief priest. You need to maintain steady line of communication with him. I am still leaving him there because I don't want my people to see me as a tyrant. If he continues the way he is, I am going to remove him and put someone else.
who is loyal to me. But, Your Majesty, the king needs to always hear from the chief priest. Oh, no. If I discover that the gods speak to him, but he keeps the words of the gods to himself, I will have him beheaded. You go and tell him that. Oh, no, 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 Your Majesty. It has not gotten to that. It has gotten beyond that. I mean, how can my subjects expect me to agree to whatever he says? And he has the guts to go angry anytime I refuse to do what he says. How? Your Majesty, I think the chief priest has the best interest of the land at heart. Yes, he might be doing things you don't like. But there's this saying that if even you don't like the messenger, make sure you get the message. I've consulted him a couple of times and uh, your majesty, I think you need to hear him. If he refuses to come to me, to hell with him. Now you tell him that I will soon change him since he cannot work with me. Your Majesty, no king has ever changed a chief priest. There is always a first time, and this will be one. Oh no, Your Majesty, you wouldn't do that. I hope you know it's a job of a gate man. Yes, my queen, I'm, I'm aware. And you are dressed like this. Oh, it's... Anyway, you've got the job. You're hired. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you, ma. You're welcome. Thank you. So, when, when do I start, ma? Uh, you can resume on Monday. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Let me go and get ready. Thank you, ma. Who is he? <laughs> He's the new gate man. I just employed him. I would have loved to speak with him. Hmm? I, I told you, I don't want anybody who is working in this palace to be an indigent of this kingdom. <laughs> no, he's not from our kingdom. He's from Oman, our neighboring uh, kingdom. Okay, that's great. Um, I'm going to see the chief priest. <sighs> Your majesty, please don't make trouble with him. Come on, I'll do no such thing. Hmm? But if I, Igwe Udemba Ejogu one of Famaji Kingdom happens to him, he will adjust. Trust me. Just, just, <laughs> just take it easy. Uh, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I hold nothing against you. Hypocrite! That is what you are. Now tell me, when last did you bring any message from the gods to me? Your Majesty, I only speak when the gods ask me to speak. I do not speak when they do not ask me to speak. And whatever I do, whatever I do is under the direction of the gods. Really? 
Now tell me, are the gods now so dumb that they don't speak to you anymore? Or you are too busy working against me in such a way that you don't hear what they say anymore? Your Majesty, with all due respect, you are the one who has paid deaf ears to the voice of the gods. That is why they have been silent this long. Udoma, let me warn you for the very last time. As a matter of fact, that is why I came here myself. So that you will hear every single word of it directly from me. If you don't desist from working against me, I will pour on you and your household like a hot rain. I will so descend on your family that no single grass will be able to survive it. I, Igwe Udemba Ejogu I of Amaju Kingdom, the Ozo Kiti Kiti one of Amaju Kingdom has spoken. Hmm. This man forgets that I made him king. Ah uh ah. -uh. <laughs> One man, my man, what's up? <laughs> no, I'm fine, no. This is Rihanna. I'm fine, my brother. Why are you so excited? What did happen? My brother, what God cannot do does not exist. When did you become? I got a job. Whoa. That's what I'm trying to do. Wow, congratulations. <laughs> I'm happy for you, thank God. Thank you, thank Are you. Are serious? And you see, this job is the kind of job I've been looking for all my life. I've been praying, fasting for this same job. And God just gave it to me like that. Too. You... Like that, my brother. You mean you got a job in an oil company? <laughs> this guy, no, no. It's not oil company. I got a job as a gatekeeper. Gatekeeper? Mm hmm. Gate man. Gate, eh, it's the same thing. Gate man, gate keeper. Yeah. <laughs> so you got a job as a gate man in the palace and you're happy? What do you mean I'm happy? Tell me you're joking, Nzube. You see? This is why I didn't want to tell you when I was looking for this job. Because you will end up discouraging me. Why are you laughing now? Instead of, instead of you to be happy for your friend. You got a job as a gate man and you expect me to clap for you, Nzube. What, what do you mean clap for me? Did, didn't you hear what I said? This is the kind of job I've been looking for all my life. I got the job because of the money involved. And secondly, I have always loved mingling with the royalties. Do you Come know what on. it takes to talk to the king? To see the king face to face. Which king face to face? If you work hard and make money, royalty will look for you in Zubi. You are a first class graduate, my friend. Will you be proud to tell a former that you are working as a gate man in someone's palace? Please, let's, let's just leave this thing. I'll see you later, yeah? Come, Zubi, come. I'll see you later, okay? Just go. First class graduate and a gate man. In Zubi, you are just a first class mugu. You are a, a, a gatekeeper. Mama, hmm? mango and kato sugar. Hmm. You are talking as if you don't know a mango again. Hmm? Hmm. Hope you arrange the ones you carry to the market later. Yes, Mama. You reserve some for your brother. Yes, Mama. I reserve some for him inside. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. So bon. Ah, your brother is hmm. back. You can't even give me a bouquet. Brother, welcome. Mama. How are you? Right. Hey. You're your own is inside. I don't worry. You for you inside. Don't worry, don't worry. Mama? Good news though. Mama, what's <laughs> No, guess first. I don't know. I finally got a job. 
<laughs> Congratulations, my son. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. Hey, Thank good you. news. Thank you, Mama. Um, where did you get the job? It's Enugu, a brewery in Enugu. That is good, although it's far. Mm. No, it's not really far. It's, it's, it's not far like that. Okay, when will you start? Next week, Monday. Oh. Hey! <laughs> chap, chap, mm. brother. <laughs> but I'm so happy for you. Mm? Now, I will go in and prepare a long list of everything you buy for me. Immediately, you receive your salary. I don't want to hear there is no money. Can you do a Eh? You will not even allow your brother to start the job first. First. You're you talking about my, writing a long list. My brother's money is my money. Brother, ego give ego. Of fire. Yes. Then you will go with him and start the job with him. Come on, ego give ego. It's our money. Mama, leave me, John. <laughs> what we should be talking about now is how to go in, prepare a delicious meal That's in sure. order to congratulate him. Yes, yes, brother. Brother, I'll cook onubu soup for you. I know you like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have something for you, brother. <laughs> I don't know what is wrong with him. Why is he preparing like a woman? <laughs> huh? Canada. Canada. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Do you mean like okay. Go? Sorry for wasting much of your time. We can go now. Go where? Hmm. To the function. Hmm. <laughs> you mean... You want to accompany me to a traditional function dressed like this? But I, what's wrong with what I'm putting on? Oh, you don't know who you are? How long do you want us to tell you before you understand that you are a prince? Heir to the throne of this kingdom. Mom. You must always dress the part of royalty that you represent. Mom, this is, ah. this is uncalled for. Oh you people are putting me through another kind of bondage right now. I can't go places of my choice. I can't wear my favorite clothes. I can't even live my life just because I'm a prince. What the hell are you talking about? Are you crazy? Huh? Have you gone crazy? You want us to keep reminding you of who you are? Now, I'm going in there. Whenever you're ready, you let me know. But Father, what's wrong with what I'm putting My on? friend, you better go and change into a royal attire. What is wrong with you? I think you people should just go for this function without me because I'm not going anywhere. Look at this, look at this boy, you. Canada, hey God, Canada has entered his He doesn't even understand who he is. I came to inform you that I finally, finally got a job in the palace. You finally got a job in our palace? Um, no, no, it's not in our palace. Actually, there's no vacancy there. So someone helped me to get a job in the palace of our magic kingdom. Uh, it wasn't wait, easy. Hmm? I mean, what kind of job could you possibly get in a palace? A gate man. Ah! <laughs> it was... Gitman? Yes, Gitman. And it was very difficult to, to get... So, Betty, is this how desperate you are to get close to the palace? My love, you see, this is what I've always wanted. I've, I've always been dreaming of getting a job in the palace. Why? I mean, this is what I want. This is what I've been dreaming of. And finally, I, I, I got it. So I expect you to be happy for me. So, Betty, where is your pride as a graduate? I mean, you graduated with flying colors. Okay. What will you tell Mama? 
I I didn't tell them anything in details. I just I just told them that I, I got a job in the city and and that's it. Hi. Mm. Mm, it's a bitchy, it's a bitchy, it's a bitchy. You're not being um, you're not being fair. Ah, uh -uh. this is so unfair now. So you don't care about what people around you will say or think about this, this awkward decision of yours? Okay, that aside, what about me? How do you expect me to, to stand before my friends and tell them that my, my, my man is, is, is now a git man? Ah. Well, babe, what is wrong with that? I, I, I'm a git man in a royal house, not just an anyhow place. And besides, I don't care about what people say. I mean, this is my life. This is what makes me happy. Okay? They won't come to live my life for me. So as my woman, you ought to support me. This is what makes me happy. Would you believe that I spoke to the Queen today? It felt like heavens to me. And seeing the members of the royal house, this is a dream come true. I love how they do their things. I love, I love royalty stuff. I, 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 I love to see the King. I love the attire. This, this is what I want. So, Betty, you have one option, which is to quit that job. Quit the job? Yes. Ha. That, that's not possible, though. I, I, I can't. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't. Okay. You can't. Hi. Hi. Please, don't do this now. Eh? I, I thought you care about my happiness. Eh? This is what I love. This, this, is, this is what makes me happy. Eh? I, I, this, people have been looking for this kind of opportunity. Please. You okay, can leave me alone. Leave me alone. If working as a gitman is so important to you and is all you want, then so be it. Leave me alone. No, but it's not so be it. Then you have to support me. Mm. If that is what I want, which is what I want, I want you to support me, please. Huh? Pikono, don't do this, please. Zubechi, if working as a gitman is a fulfillment to you, then it goes contrary for me. I can never marry a gitman. What am I saying? I can't even date a gitman. My love. Don't if this is what I'm trying to don't if me. Don't if me. Henceforth, you don't know me. I don't know you. Therefore, if you see me call me this way, please change the direction. It's a bitchy, please. Please, I beg you, please. You are my Shameless direction. Thing. I can't change direction. It's only you I know. Stop Look, following me. I... Enemies of the throne are on their feet again. My enemies want to take the throne away from me. Your Majesty, you have done well for the people. Who in their right mind will want to take away the throne from you?
some people want to grab power from me even when they don't know what to do with it they don't even care what the feelings of the people are but I will not allow them I will not allow it to happen Your Majesty but there are voices from the vineyard the Ode Festival To this I am going to see the chief priest. Open his word. I wonder why it is only me that is worried about the king not performing the other festival. His son is almost 30. And I wonder why he's trying to dodge this age-long festival that has been practiced years ago. That shows that something is not right about him. I can authoritatively tell you that I spend most of my time with the king and he means well for the people. So he should be very proud to perform any ritual in this land. Be careful what they make you see. Most times they will show you the opposite of who they really are. Yes, any king who avoids the, the festival, considering the traditional practices that go with it, that means there is a skeleton in his cupboard. Zeribe, there is wisdom in not going against the king. Let the gods intervene. <laughs> we represent the gods here. And we can trigger the gods to action. That's why we are elders of this land. No matter what it takes for the, or the festival to be done in my time, I do not care. to see you for something very important. You see, the king has ruled very well. There is no doubt about that. He has also brought development to our land. He also has given scholarships to all, most of our children, which we are all happy about. You see, but the Ode Festival has revealed the dirty secret of the king. And the official introduction of who the next king will be to us. You see, could that be what the king is avoiding? I work for the gods. Not the people. The king works for the people. I only say what the gods want me to say. I will say it to whoever they direct me to say it. But the king is not being open to us. And as a title chief, and a kingmaker in this kingdom. I think I need to know why the king is avoiding the festival. The secrets of the palace cannot be devoid to a commoner, except the gods direct. So you mean there is a secret somewhere. 
Does that mean that there is a secret somewhere? There is no clean life anywhere. Every human has done something dirty. The Ode Festival is done when the king has many male children. And he doesn't know which one is fit for the crown. I have only one male child. And so, they already know their king. Your Majesty, since they asked for it, do it so that it won't look as if you have something you're trying to hide. Now I understand why my father once told me that man is insatiable. Most times, we go extra miles to get what we can't keep and then fail to find our way home. We don't understand the value of life until time is up. Time is up. I don't get it. Your Majesty, your words are too deep. I wish the enemies of the throne will know this too. You will not be an enemy to the palace. I am not against the palace, but I'm against the king for not honoring our tradition. But the king is the custodian of the same tradition you are fighting for. He can change it anytime he pleases. Only the gods have the power to do so. Are you saying we should fold our arms and watch him do whatever he likes? Whatever he is doing, fighting him means fighting the gods. Let us keep our fingers crossed and see how it all unfolds. No. I will not let him be. As far as I'm concerned, the, the festival must be done in my time. The gods will not punish me for standing strong for our culture and our tradition of this land. You have to swear an oath with the offer of Amaji Kingdom that if you do anything evil against the royal family, the gods will punish you with death. Uh, what is her? Oh, did you come here with any evil intention? No, no, not at all, sir. But I, I have not taken an oath since, since I was born. Ah, yes, but you have to take this one. Except, of course, you don't want the job. Yes. Okay, sir. Good. Now take and say after me. Take. I. Do you call your name? I. Nzube Chuku. Hereby swear. Hereby swear. That if I plan any evil against the royal household, 
that if I plan any evil against the royal household, or connive with any person or group of persons to plan evil, or connive with group of persons, or or, any or any person to, to plan evil against the king or his family against the king or his family may the gods of Amaji kingdom strike me dead may the gods of Amaji Kingdom strike me dead. Good. Let's have it. He said, Okoba, Your Majesty, you can go and show him his duties. If I'm not that one to become pump oil, must pass through fire. No one picks up. A dead lion right in his compound at the MAM. Only the ghost can do that to you. Maka do to Ada, cause he falls for me. I'm sorry, my friend. Why are you wasting my time? I'm sorry, I, I just started to do so. It needs oil. It's not open. It's not open. It's not open. Yes. You have to be very, very careful. This job is is, is not for lazy people. To add oil to so it can go open easily. Will you go and sit down? Next time you, you, you will receive slap. Watch me. Watch me. This is the last time. Next time, slap. Anything happen again? Well, I I keep having this strange feeling. It makes me do things subconsciously. I I don't know. Your Majesty, I think we better take her to a specialist abroad. No, 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 no. Uh, this is not a medical issue. Okay? Uh, don't worry. I will handle it. Okay? Father, am I being hypnotized? Please tell me. Um, 
Please. Just don't worry your head, okay? Calm down. Um, I will ensure that you don't experience it again, okay? Go and rest. <laughs> I think we'd better do something fast because this issue is getting worse. But I've said it now. I said I will handle it. Okay? Relax. Explain what is happening today. She's haunted. Mm. Mm hmm. Haunted? <laughs> Why would? Uh, I don't know. Eh? But that's how haunted people behave now. <laughs> so tell me, how does she behave? You, you have not told us now. Uh, how can you be asking me that kind of question? Uh, you, you know you are the one always close to her. Uh, you should be the one to know. Eh? So, you don't know, and you just concluded that she's haunted. Maybe you should go and tell the king what is haunting his daughter. Ah, uh, 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 now, eh? <laughs> it has not gotten to that now. Eh, <laughs> see your face. <laughs> it has not gotten to that now. We are just gisting, eh? Are we not? Please. The next time you feel like gisting, avoid me. Avoid me. See, if you do not want to get yourself into big trouble in this palace, stay away from things that have nothing to do with you. Stay away. Oh, well, this is the truth now. Ah. If I'm not that one to become pamper, you must pass through fire. No one picks up a dead lion right in his compound at the mayor. Only the ghost can do that to you. This is, this is not what I prayed for. Uh -uh. This is just my first day. I'm already getting so much. The princess is just something else. Huh? This is not the royal job I prayed for. If it continues like this, then I may die before I last up to one year. The people are not smiling. What kind of palace is this? The king looks serious. The guards are acting like there is war here. The princess is completely hostile. The prince may even shoot me in the head if I misbehave. I don't want to regret this from the start. Maybe, maybe. This is the wrong place. Yes, I did. Please sit. Oh, Father, not again. I have an important appointment in Abuja. And my flight time is almost ready. You're very silly to say that. Look, if you know the huge responsibility you have on your shoulders, you will not leave my side any minute. Will this responsibility stop me from living my own life? Oh, come on. You have no life of your own apart from the throne. You are the crown prince of Amaji Kingdom. Okay? The throne and your subjects are your life. You don't have any other life without them. Maybe I'm not saying this the way you're saying it. 
I should throw away my life because I want to be the king? You are very foolish to say that. Look, don't make me believe that I, the wild lion of Amaji Kingdom, gave birth to a weakling. Living my life doesn't make me a weakling. You better know this. A commoner cannot come out of the loins of a king. Okay? You cannot live the life of a commoner where you have a royal blood flowing through your veins. If you think you can disgrace me, you better think again. Because I will not allow you. Alright? I sent you abroad to study. So that by the time you take over the throne of your fathers, you will do better than I have done. What you should be thinking right now is how to learn the customs and traditions of our people, of this kingdom. Is that understood? I think the princess has been haunted. Eh? Mm -hmm. What is wrong with you? What are you saying? Please don't let them hear you. Don't let them hear you. Ah, she, she, she has been acting strange now. Can't you see it? Biao, wait. I hope a strange force is not haunting this palace. Hey. Oh, ha. this girl. My problem with you is that you talk too much. You talk way too much. Please, I beg you. Don't put me in trouble in this palace. Please. Please. Ha. Well, yes. The princess might be going through an emotional trauma. Uh, yeah? Yes. A lot of people are going through a lot of things these days. Yes. But... Come to think of it. What could be bothering the princess? You are asking me? I mean, her father is the king. And a very wealthy one. No, 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 no. Nothing could make her develop an emotional trauma. Aww. That would make her behave like that. Ha, no, no, no. But Amaka, you seem to know what is wrong with the princess. <laughs> this your tongue will lead you to a situation where you have to tell the king what is wrong with his daughter. Amaka, please avoid me. Avoid me. Avoid me with this your gossip. I was never like this before. You're trying to turn me to a gossip. Okay. Avoid me. I should avoid you, Abi. Hmm. Mind your business. Stay away from gossip. Now you go still cry for it. Now you go still cry. You. No problem. No problem. They will come and jam you. Go see. Go see.
There is a festival in our land referred to as or the festival. It's all about uh, as a one. As a one. Dad, are you with me at all? Yeah, Dad, I'm listening. Really? Yeah, I'm listening to you, Dad. Good. Now tell me, what was the last thing I said? It's about Ngene River. Yeah, Ngene River. As a one. Why is it that you are proving to me that I made the greatest mistake of my life for sending you abroad for your education? Huh? I mean, what will I tell my ancestors? That I raised a successor who does not know anything about the customs and traditions of our people? Dad, I'm sorry. I just got a message from my old time friend. That's why I'm a bit distracted. You were distracted because you got a message from your old time friend, right? Now tell me, what have you learned from all the things I've been teaching you about our kingdom? Come on, Dad, we just started. I will learn as we proceed. you to tell me the truth. Do I behave in an abnormal way? I mean, do I act differently? No, my princess. It's just that sometimes you express a certain unusual feeling. I just don't know what triggers that in you. A friend told me that I sound and behave abnormally. I mean, strangely. So, I just want you to tell me. Do I really act mad? God forbid. God forbid, my princess. You will never act mad. Don't let that thought get into your mind. Have you heard of a mad princess before? No, but... I... No, but. No, but. I have never heard of a mad princess before and you will never be the first. Come and sit and eat your fruit. Talking like that now. Huh? Over this gate for us. Oh. The sun is on the wall. 
The elders are not smiling. Even the, 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 the villagers, nobody is smiling. Eh? What kind of community is this? Even in Obi Apo community, people are still smiling. But here, no, no, nobody is seeing anybody's teeth. Ha. Are you sure this is the right place to walk? Did I mistake or anything? Especially that one in the front. <laughs> May your reign be long. He said. But I must say this. There is no reason why the, or the festival should not be done. But it's a once in a lifetime thing. It will accord us a huge privilege of witnessing the event. It changed the river. In case you have forgotten, let me remind you. The Ode Festival was first introduced by Igwe Obukaria V. He noticed that his first son was not fit to be his heir apparent. So he introduced the Ode Dainty so that people will not see his first son as the automatic heir to his throne. Now, if a king has more than one son, he knows who amongst the sons is fit to take over from him. So, during the other festival, he introduces his son that he deems fit to take over from him as his heir apparent. That was the essence of that festival. Well, I am very conversant with that story because I'm a true son of my father. Good. As a true son of your father, you should have also known that I have only one son. That means he is the automatic heir to the throne. But. That is not the only one. Look, I don't want to further this discussion. Your Majesty, there is something that... Uh, it changed every day. Are you trying to take the kingship to your family? I have not said so. I just want us to do the right thing. Uh -huh. So this is it? So you mean I've been doing things the wrong way, right? If I may remind you, for the past 20 years, I have trained over 200 youths through school. And two of your children are beneficiaries. I brought electricity to this kingdom with my hard-earned money. I built three schools and sunk seven boreholes for this kingdom. And now you come here to tell me that I'm doing things the wrong way? Is that why all of you are here? Is that what you come here to tell me? Your Majesty, please, don't take it that way. Actually, we are here to ask from you, why don't you want to celebrate the Ode Festival? But now we have heard your explanations and are very clear. It is not clear enough to deprive us of the privilege of witnessing this festival. How dare you point your fingers at me when you're talking to me? Your Majesty, I'm not pointing fingers at you. You are! Okay, I'm sorry about that, Your Majesty. Then make your point without pointing your fingers at me. Another important thing about the uh, festival is that it also accords us the opportunity of knowing what to expect from our incoming king. I thought I was the only one thinking like this. We need to know. 
I do not think that this is the right time to describe the king with this issue. Yes, he has done so much for the community and he is still doing more. At this point, we are not against him introducing a successor. We all know that he has only one son. As such, nobody is competing him. He is the only person we all know. Nobody will compete him in the kingship of the, of the community. I see. Now, so this is how you are going to show me your love for all the things I've been doing for this kingdom. No problem. Well, I really do not hate you. I'm only trying to protect the interest of the land. an important meeting with the elders of this land. You are supposed to be there. I have no business with those elders. How dare you say a thing like this? These elders are the ones you are supposed to be close to at this time so that you can learn the culture and traditions of this land. Mom, please, I need a breathing space. I'm already learning from father. You cannot stop learning. You learn all the time. You don't know anything about our cultures. Why then did you people send me abroad to study when there are lots of things for me to study here? The other day, Father was teaching me about different staffs and their functions. The other day, it was beads. The other day, it was carvings. How can I start learning all these things by this time of my life? You sound as if you are under a spell. You are the heir to the throne of this land. It is a privilege that many want but they cannot get. You should never stop learning. In fact, you should learn with joy. Maybe I'm yet to know why I will have to throw away my life in order to be the king. I don't get it. <laughs> I need some air. You, you, you're blocking the ventilation. Just go and join them if you want. Hey! Take this thing very well, though. Let somebody not use me to. <laughs> I'm not sure this is the right palace to walk with. I'm not sure. Ah. What I know. You people are hypocrites. How could you cover the truth because of the good a man did? No matter how good a gesture is, it shouldn't cover the truth. I never, I never covered any truth. I did not. Then why didn't you say before the king? Oh, you were afraid of him, isn't it? How can you say a thing like that in Zerebe? Since you know me in this land, have I shown any sign of fear in whatever I do? But you showed it today. How do you mean? You couldn't even say anything before the king. Even you, a father. Even you. Hold it there. Agucha. Don't you ever mention my name again. Mm. You people are very wicked. Very ungrateful set of people. 
How can you be fighting a man that all of you have benefited from individually? Are you not wicked? Are you not wicked? Why have you always been a fifth columnist? Who told you we are fighting the king? Who told you? Look, if pushing to uphold our culture is fighting anyone, then let it be. <laughs> Can we all listen? I have learned how not to fight the king. Yes. I have learned how not to fight the king to do what we want him to do. Because he might get angry and fight back. And we cannot fight him. He's the king. His authority. Whatever he says is final. We can only lure him to do what we want to do. So what we should do is to put heads together. To reason how we can make him to do things the way they should be done for everybody. Look at, look, look at him talking. Why didn't you say these things there when we were with him? This is laughable. What will he say? What is it that cannot work? Ah! Yes, it's oh. a little bit. No, no, girls, woman. Have we tried that it doesn't work? Look at this one. Somebody that cannot you're, talk. You're, you're, you're mentioning huh? my name. It's a little bit. You are just making noise. Of form, of form, of form. We can't people. Of form, of You are talking. We can't be. Excuse me. Yes, my friends. What's your name? My name is Kate, my friends. Kate. Oh, nice. Kate, has someone told you that you're very beautiful? Thank you, my friends. And I would like to be your friend. <laughs> no, my friends. I'm sorry, my friends. Oh, what was that? You should be happy that your prince is finding you attractive. My prince, I can't. My prince... You can do what? Come. Listen. I'm not gonna hurt you, alright? I just want you to be my friend. <laughs> it's my prince, I'm sorry. molest me. What? Why would he do that? I don't know. I am even surprised. I thought he's a responsible man. Oh, uh, maybe he's beginning to like you. Like me? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I think he wants to hit and run. Hit and run? Yes, I. Kate will not allow that. <laughs> I will. Uh, oh, my beautiful girl. Uh, uh, yeah, but you don't have sense. You don't have sense. Look at what you're saying. Saying rubbish. That you not allow what to happen. Hey, he wants to hit and run. Um, like, uh, what is it? What are you saying? Please avoid me. Let me talk to the beautiful girl here that is attracted to the prince because you are not attracted to the prince. Just continue with this, your, you know, proper upside down, you are mingling with the princess in this palace. Yeah? Allow me, please. Like I was saying, eh, I don't want the prince, so I don't want him to do this. I will not allow him to do this. You, you, are, you, are, you are very stupid. You are very, very stupid. So you are okay with this salary of being paid in this palace. You are okay with that, Abby. You don't want to enjoy life. Eh? Answer me now, you don't want to enjoy life. Oh. Huh. I'm tired though. Hey, eh? okay. You are tired of me. You know you will love it when you do this. Go, bo, bo. Hey, you really want to enjoy it. I'm a car. What if the king hears you? Hear yeah, what? I, I think you are busy with this, Abby. Please, do your work and let me be. 
Had it been I was the one that the prince chose? Hey? I won't stand here and do rubbish with you. I won't even say that. No sense. Just know, is this girl, is she okay? I know you're tired. Me, not attracted to the place. Your Majesty, something spiritual is happening to our children. The water is getting to the chest level. And if something is not done, oh, I sense more danger. I sense more danger. I can't believe what I saw today. Imagine people I helped turning against me. Who are they and what is their aim? Their aim is to take the kingship of this kingdom from my family. They've even gone to the extent of using charms against the royal household. Your Majesty, this calls for drastic measures. You have to see the chief priest so that he will take actions against them immediately. Oh no. I will go beyond the boundaries of this kingdom. The gods have revealed my enemies to me. And I will handle this issue the best way possible. You have to handle it. My own children.
Who amongst you went to the kitchen last night? Yes, I said it. <laughs> I said it now, but you thought I was lying. What rubbish are you saying? I, I told her that I heard footsteps. Women around this house last night. But she, she thought I was lying now. How does that answer my question? Are you okay? You are not saying anything. I think I'm beginning to believe how. <laughs> See now? Eh? Someone is beginning to believe me. What eh? is happening here? Good morning, my friend. What is going on here? What are you people talking about? I went to the kitchen earlier this morning. The pot was opened, the soup soured, and all the meat disappeared. I know who did it. Huh? Where is that food? Where is it? I didn't go to the port. I'm telling you the truth. You're trying to lie to me. I will make sure you regret stepping your feet into this palace. Oh my God, ma'am, tell me. Oh, I... Your Highness. Why would a grown up man like me go to the port? For what? I, I didn't. Take your boys. Hmm? Tie him up. Beat him blue, blah, oh blah, blah. God. Beat him beyond recognition. Please, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Ma, ma, please, I didn't do anything. Ma, ma, please, I didn't do anything. Ma, please, I didn't do anything. Ma, ma, please, I didn't do anything. Ma, ma, please, I didn't do anything. What is it? There is a problem. What's the problem? It's your mother. She has ordered for almost execution of the new kids, man. Why? What has he done? I went to the kitchen this morning. The pot was open. I think someone tampered with the pot of soup. And you think he did it? Uh, yes. Sincerely sorry for countering your orders. But the truth is, I did it. You did what? You took meat from the pot? Yes, mother. I saw it in my dream. Then I woke up and, and I saw it happened. Lolo, you see? You see what I told you? They are hypnotizing my daughter so that she will do things that they can hold against me. This is not as minor as we take it. How could we continue like this? Something needs to be done. Just something has to be done because, because I'm, I'm losing my mind. I'm... It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, you'll be fine. You'll be fine, okay? Your Majesty, the Chief Priest 
is a very strong man. Men come from far and wide to consult with him. Please, invite him to the palace if you don't want to go to him. No, no. I told you this before. I don't want to discuss this with him. Okay? Please don't worry. I will handle this the best way possible. Believe me. Okay? My prince. As you can see, I'm going to the central school field to play football. So if you like, you can take the entire palace guards and come along with me. Alright? What is wrong with you? Huh? The palace is restless? And you are going out to play football? I mean, that is not the right thing to do right now. I knew it. I knew you were going to come out here to stop me. Why, father? Why are you stopping me? Young man, go in there and get dressed. We are going to Okoboto to consult no man. Father, is I go on? nowhere. Father, I go nowhere. What have I done to deserve a close marking from you? Is it one? Are you talking to me like that? Huh? You are the heir apparent to the throne of Amaji Kingdom. You are my first and only son, unfortunately. It is my responsibility to instill sanity and decorum into thy thick skull. Now go in there and get dressed, let's go. But honestly, I can't take this anymore. I can't. Please allow me to go and play football. Why can't I go out? You said I'm the heir to the throne, then I should, I should be allowed to go out. Why are you stopping me, please, Father? Allow me to go out. Are you daring me? Now go in there. Change and let us go. Father, please, allow me to go out. I want to go and play football. Will you keep quiet as I go in there? And I'm in there. I'm waiting for you. Are you going to catch me here forever? No, I might just... What's, what, what's his majesty again? What, what's that supposed to mean? You want to stop me? You're such a bully. Don't worry, I'm gonna kick your balls one of these days. Do you hear from me? Bastard. Father! But I don't like this, honestly, I don't like it. Why would you be stopping me from... What watered your value at the palace? That make you stay this long without having any message for the king. The king threw away the matter because of the grinding stone. Failing to realize that both are of equal importance. Is that why you stayed away from the palace? I am only a woman, but I know that the duty of the chief priest is to keep the safety and sanity of the palace. Why have you left the palace in shambles and make the people to imagine vain things? I am only a messenger of the gods. I follow their instructions. Are you trying to tell me that the gods instructed you to stay away from the palace? There is a limit to what I can tell you. But go! Tell the king to fix the rift between him and the gods. Rift? Is he aware of this rift? 
He cannot deny it. She went out with father. I didn't go anywhere with anybody. I'm tired of this whole shit. I think it's high time I left this country. Oh, please. Don't let father hear you. He's already angry that you're not learning fast. And now you're seeing this. Okay. Who do you want to leave the throne for? I don't think I need this throne as much as you people want me to have it. I consider anything that threatens my freedom as a suspect. I'm not cut out for all this. That's not fair. Look, you are the only son of this family. And you must carry the responsibilities that follows it. I'm not saying I'm rejecting the throne. All I'm saying is that it shouldn't deprive me of my freedom. Now I know. Now I know that this whole thing is spiritual. There is someone that is trying to take away the kingship from our family somewhere else. That explains why we have been spiritually manipulated. No, I'm not being manipulated by anybody. I just need my freedom. That's all. You know, I have been acting so strange lately. I have seen myself running mad. M mad? Yes, yes. I know it sounds scary, but that's the reality. I have been to different hospitals and nothing was diagnosed. It is now obvious that I am being hypnotized. Look, if you leave this place today, you will have nowhere else to call home. Apart from this place being the palace, it is also your home. What you don't fight, today will frustrate you tomorrow and then you will later come back to meet it. When you become king, you can change whatever you are not comfortable with. You can, you can make this community what you want it to be. But for now, please, you must carry the responsibilities of this family. Okay. 
Why are you sad? You were carried away. What's wrong? I... I was accused of stealing meat from the port and the, the queen ordered that I'll be beaten beyond recognition. Just because of meat? If not that the princess saved me, I would have been leaking my wounds by now. But who could still meet in a palace where everybody's been paid well and fed well? Everyone here should be proud and thank God for the privilege. Most of you here have been paid more than the most graduates out there. You're right. But let me tell you the truth, my prince. You see, when I, when I got the job to work here, I was really, really happy. I was so, so overwhelmed because this is the opportunity I've been looking for all my life. I've, I've always wanted to work in the palace. But you see, since I came, it's, it's, been, it's been a different feeling altogether. It's not what I expected that I'm actually seeing now. I feel there is, there is so much going on, so much unrest going on in the palace at the moment. And um, How do you mean? You see, the palace is the definition of everything good and beautiful, but it's really not like that here. Everyone is angry. The elders are coming in here looking sad and, you know, coming out of the palace angry. You're either fighting the guards or, or, you know, having an argument with your dad. The princess is, is, yelling all the time they, they they i mean there's so much going on and this is not what i expected i expected a, a peaceful palace where you will come and you know have rest of mind but the scuffle going on is, is actually uncalled for if you ask me you sound very intelligent what's your level of education i'm I'm a first-class graduate of a Boeing State University. And why are you a gate man here? You know, like I said before, I've always wanted to work in the palace. It's, it's, it's a dream come true for me. It's not like there are no jobs out there, but I've always wanted to work here. I've always wanted to serve the king. But with what I'm seeing, my prince, um, thinking otherwise. Apart from here being the palace, it's also my home. What is going on here? What is happening? You know you are my most trusted guard. I don't want you to let me down on this particular task. I have never failed you before, Your Highness, and will never do. I will ever remain loyal to you, Your Highness. You must be very careful in this particular assignment. I don't want anything that will dent my reputation, okay? Yes, Your Majesty. You know it is not an easy tax. I will try as much as possible to make it a clean one. I have boys on standby already. 
trying your best is not good enough. Okay? Like I said, you are my most trusted. And remember, my ears are to the ground. Okay? You will hear from me soon, Your Majesty. <laughs> Why are you still awake? Why have you not come to bed? Your Majesty, what do you hold against the gods? Where, where is that question coming from? I learned you are not at peace with the gods. And I know the gods cannot be wrong. Tell me, what is it you're hiding from me? Hiding? What are you talking about? Don't keep me in the dark, Your Majesty. For the fact that my children are being affected, please open up to me. I could be of help. Don't tell me that you go asking about the palace. I've been here for so long to know that no deity will open up to anybody concerning the palace except the king. Your Majesty, please, look at my children. How dare you go asking questions about the palace? How dare you? It's no longer about the truth, nor is it about the people. Please, please. If you know what you can do to make my children fine again, I'm begging you. Your Majesty, please, make them fine again, please. <laughs> no, no. I am going to advise you for the very last time. Don't delve into issues that will cost you your life. Is that understood? Any issues that affect my children calls for my attention and I will go to any length to protect them. Well, in that case, I will have to send a message to your people. If anything happens to you, I shouldn't be blamed for it. Huh? You no longer come to visit us that Mama has been asking of you. Um, something came up. What is it? Come. Oh. Are you having any issues with my brother? If I'm talk to me, you know I can talk to Nzuba about it. Okay, you know I've waited for your brother. I mean, throughout his years of university, I've been patient and you of all people should know that now. Especially now that he has gotten a good job. He just changed overnight. I'm surprised. That job is the problem. See, uh -uh. I will never talk to him again until he changes that job. 
the former. You should be happy that he got that job. See, let me tell you, with the amount of money my brother earns every month, if he continues that job in the next six months, I am very, very sure he will come and pay your bride price. Trust me. Neka, look at me now. Look at me. Look at me. Neka, do I look like someone that will settle for a common gate man? See, if he likes, he should earn one million naira per month. I won't even marry. What am I saying? I won't even give it a second thought. Yuck! Gate man. Mm. If my brother is not a gate man, come, who told you that he's a gate man? Hey. He told me himself he works as a gate man at Amaji village. I bet your brother now. Drop this job, but he refused. So what will you have me do? But that's not what Zubay told us. That's not what Zubay told my man, I. He will not tell you. If he's not your brother, eh, I will ask you to go and marry him. But since he's your brother, you can go and make inquiries yourself. As for me, I've moved on. I might even get married before he comes back. Bye-bye. Ivoma. Uh-uh. Zubay gets mad. What is she saying? If I'm not that one to become Bambo, you must pass through fire. No one picks up a dead lion right in the Why is your face this way? What happened? Only for me alone. Talk now. Mama, I am not happy about what I heard today. At all. <laughs> oh, it's like this village is unbecoming for you. Each time you go out, you must come back with one news or the other. What happened this time around? <laughs> Mama, I heard that the job used to be got is to be a gate man. Can you imagine? <laughs> Fat lie. Who lied this? Eh? Ah ah! You mean after attending the university and coming out with a good grade, how could he descend so low to be a gate man? Huh? Who, who, who said that? <laughs> Mama, it was informal. Who's the best girlfriend? <laughs> Mama, you know that informal does not gossip anyhow. That girl does not talk anyhow. Informal equally told me that she has moved on with her life because she cannot marry a gate man. Ewo, Ewo, Ewo. Is that the reason she stopped coming over? Or if Emilia? I'm a marum. But do you think it's true? Do you believe that? Mama, when you hear of Gatesman job, you think he's even in the city. Mama, the Gatesman job is in the village. Not even a developed village, but a magic kingdom. Who told you this? And why must you believe it? Mama, you know Onyema. Ayo's uh -huh. best friend now. I equally called him as well. He confirmed it. Eh? Yes, Mama. Let me take this bag inside. Sit. Prince, please, let, let me stand. I'm... I'm not worthy to sit with you. I don't want to order you to do that. Please have a seat. Since we spoke last, I've been restless. You opened my eyes to see the need to be worried about my home. I think you are intelligent. Thank you. So, with what you've said so far, what do you think I should do to bring a lasting peace to this palace? I... I noticed the... The elders are having a strong disagreement amongst themselves. Do you know... Do you know what could be the cause? I don't know they are having disagreement. Okay. Well, I think you should ask one of them. 
because it's obvious they are constant coming to the palace angry and leaving quarreling means that there's a problem going on and they are finding it difficult to solve. So you have to make inquiries. I think I think there's a problem in, in the land. So as a member of the royal family, you should try to, you know, ask and, and feel their pain. That will also give the king peace of mind. Yes. Yes, you are doing well for your people, but step has come. I hope I've not said anything bad. It's what she asked me that I told him. You look disturbed. What's the problem? Father, are you having issues with the elders of this land? Ezewa, I'm ashamed of you. Look, you don't stop making me believe that I don't have a son in you. Dad, I'm sorry if I provoked you. You didn't just provoke me. You shot me right in the chest. Come on, is there one? For over a year now, I've been having heated arguments with my cabinet chiefs, day in, day out. And you, my son, my only son, the heir to my throne, you've been in this palace. I hear you are asking me this stupid question. I don't have any answer for you now. Get out of my sight. God, I'm sorry. Yes, you are doing well. For your people. But time has gone. For you to do the need for me, time has come. For you to be the spirit more than what we were. He got one, 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 No freedom in this palace. Everybody is a suspect. Who will bring the sanity back? Onyeke mo, onyeke mo, ebwa tumwe mo. I think I have been misbehaving all this while. Mom, apart from here being the people's palace, it's also my home. But I've only seen here as a palace and that has made me overlook some important things that I should have done. Son, I think you have met someone very, very important. Who is she? Because I have been trying to tell you this all this while, and you refuse to listen to me. Oh, my head some words that made me start viewing things from another point of view. 
I want to know what is going on in this palace. God. God. Hey. Whatever you want to know, just ask and I will be glad to tell you. What is going on between the elders and my father? <sighs> that I can't tell for sure. But I think they are asking him to do something and he refused. And um, the other day I met with the chief priest. And he told me that your father has a disagreement with the gods. Disagreement? What could be the issue? <laughs> well, he will never say anything that consigns the throne to anyone except the king. You know, he knows the throne more than even the king himself. Well, maybe the gods want your father to do something and he has refused to do it. Could it be because of my sister's predicament? It could be. Just that I don't understand why your father would be so hard-hearted. Even when it's so obvious that things are falling apart by the day. I don't understand. Yes, you are doing well for your people. But time has come. Doma, you broke the oath to protect the kingdom and its secrets. The oath I took, I took before the gods. And only they have the right to question me. I never fell them. Why did you tell Lola about me? I could not have conceived such a thought. Knowing that the gods can kill even their most trusted servant at the slightest provocation. I only let her know that there is a force behind the rolling stones. Udoma, you are becoming too careless with words. You better mind your steps before you stumble without knowing. Your Majesty. You see, light and darkness are enemies. But it takes darkness to portray the beauty of light. You are not meant to regulate me. Udoma, maintain your leg and allow me to rule my people the way I deem fit. But if of course you are tired of doing your job as the chief priest of this great kingdom, feel free to resign. And I will gladly accept your resignation and appoint someone else to do the job. Well, your majesty, you know that is not possible. Only the gods can change the chief priest of this land. But I want you to know something, Your Majesty. Time runs through the earth and never leaves it the same. You will live long and see many days, Your Majesty. But I pray that the gods give you the will to accept that which comes with time.
sorry, what, what do you want? Come. Touch me. Come. Princess, what are you doing? I want you to make me feel like a woman. Come. Oh, my, my princess, I'm, I'm sorry. I, 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 can't do, I can't do that. Let's go over you. If you don't do what I ask, I will order for your execution tomorrow. Oh no, my, my princess, this is not a good one. Please, don't, don't do it. No, come. Don't do this, please. Come. Princess, come. Carrying me. What have you done? Have I not shot myself in the head? Who do I blame for this now? I'm finished. What will I tell my mother? But a princess is a virgin. Why would she choose me? Of all people she has met in life, why me? I think it's time, I think it's time I leave this job if I fall into a bigger problem. I have to resign today. I have to resign. No, 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 no. I can't stay in this palace till the next one hour. The king demands your presence. The king? Yes. Come with me. Okay, let me get let me let, get, let, me, get, let me get something said. Is that me back here? Shut up. Shut up. I'm in your Go, come, come with me. What is this? And uh, you look disturbed. What could be bothering you in my in my in my palace? Um, nothing, nothing, my king. Good day, my prince. Good morning, Mr. Bichi. Come on, smile, my friend. Today is your lucky day. Stand up. Nzube, you have found favor in the eyes of my son, the prince of Amaji Kingdom. 
And he has made a special request on your behalf. I want you to be my personal advisor, my PA, and your salary will be 300,000 naira. And the better apartment here in the palace. Wait, you, you mean I'm no longer the gate man? Oh, That's yes. it. You are not. As a matter of fact, we have recruited someone else in your place. So you have to pack your things. Um, Okoba will take you to your new apartment. Thank you so much, Thank you. 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 I don't understand this. Are you seeing a spirit draped you? I saw myself making love in the dream. I can't believe it. I can't continue like this. It's all right. Don't worry. Hmm? I will get to the root of this. I will. Something needs to be done. Because if this gets worse, No, Mom. I don't want anything bad to happen to me. I'm, I'm, I'm just nothing, scared. Nothing, nothing will happen to you. Hmm? I think you should talk to your father. Let us all mount pressure on him so that he will find a lasting solution to this problem. Good morning, my queen. Good morning, my princess. Princess, I am here to remind you of the meeting scheduled for today. What meeting are you talking about? You told me yesterday and said I should remind you of it today. Um. I can't remember saying that to you. No, yeah. Mm -hmm. Please, do not take her out of this palace without letting me know. Okay? At least for now. What have you done? I, I don't know, honestly, I can't even tell. I was just on my own and God chose to bless me, just like that. Earlier you said you are innocent. And what makes you think you are innocent? Uh, well, let's, let's leave that for now. Just come and show me the, the place. Innocent of God's favor. Nzube, you better remain clean. As long as you stay here, the same teeth the dog plays with, it also kills with it. I hope you don't understand this when your head finally leaves your shoulder. Important. You can't keep ignoring what is happening to me. Adesi, I don't want any problem this morning. I have a lot of meetings to attend today. Is that all that is important to you? Cabinet meetings? Gathering of the kings and meetings with prominent men of the land? Is that why you became king? This is not fair. It is not fair that I have to go through this incident when my father is still alive. Look, I am working very hard. I'm working hard to solve all the problems in this palace. And hopefully, that should put an end to whatever you are going through. Your Majesty, your daughter lost her virginity to a ghost last night. What? She found herself making love in the dream last night, only for her to wake up and see blood all over her. 
In fact, I was the one that woke her up. Your Majesty, how long will this linger before you make peace with the gods? How long? Okoba, why the delay? Your Majesty, getting the virgin this period is really hard. Could you believe that we got an 11 years old girl? To my greatest surprise, she wasn't a virgin. Don't give me that nonsense talk. What do you mean you got a 11 year old and she's not a virgin? Are you, are you telling me that all this while you've not seen anyone? Your Majesty, we have gotten four already. In a few days time, I will get the remaining three. And that time you're talking about is what I don't have. What, what, what the hell? Look, things are getting messy in your presence and you are talking about time. I don't have time. I am sorry, Your Majesty. I wish I can make it happen today, today. Okay, now, I will give you more money. Go and mobilize men. Get as many as you can. I want this thing done pronto. Is that understood? Yes, Your Majesty. Good, no more excuses, okay? If I'm not that one to become them or you, must pass through fire No one picks up a dead lion Right in his compound and they may know Only the ghost can do that to you Makadioti adia kosi for fulu ne no po Awe no me buraji e chuchu aja Eme si agi no Happen to him. What is it? I had a terrible dream. It's about your brother. I want him back. I don't want him to stay there again. He has to come back. Abba Mama, it has not gotten to that. Let me just pray for him. I know he'll be fine. But Adam Zubay will be fine, Mama. Hmm? Well, it's okay. Adam Zubay will be fine. Let me just pray for him. Hmm? Go back to sleep. Hmm? Mama, don't worry. Don't worry. I've tried getting information from my father, but he said that nothing is wrong. He's only interested in me knowing the cultures and tradition of our land so that I can take over when he's no more. But my mom told me there is a big problem going on in the land. What do you suggest I do? Well, you are the crown prince of this kingdom. You need to mingle with your people and listen to their plight and grievances. They will tell you things that your father is not doing right, then you meet your father with specific questions. The people out there are saying that my father is the best king this kingdom has ever known. Oh, my prince, uh, with the way the elders come in and leave quarreling, I I think there is so much going on that you don't know. Even your mother confirmed it. You need to get to the root of it. I don't think everything is all right. Yeah, you're right. You're very correct. I don't think the king 
we accept this as a dream. If what you told me is really a nightmare, then the king must hear it. He no longer listens to the chief priest. He could have known this long before now. But you see, my take on this is that I don't want to be seen as an enemy to the king or to the palace. The king might even think that I made up this story just to mount pressure on him. You see, as it stands now, huh? we don't need to be in his good books to tell him. Okay. Exactly. He is somebody that I love so much. I must tell you. He happens to be one of the best persons so far that I really cherish. But the problem I have with him is the Ode Festival that is refusing to, to do. That is where I feel there is a skeleton in his cupboard. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if we keep quiet, you never can tell how it will affect our future and even our children. So there is need for us now to tell him eyeball to eyeball, look at him eyeball to eyeball and tell him. It's very important. But how do I start? To tell him now. Uh, then if you cannot narrate your nightmare to the king, I should better be going back home. That's the point. It has not gotten to that. It has not gotten to that. Then what do you, what do you want me to do? You should be able to. My prince, you are welcome to my house. So please, what can I offer you? Your undiluted truth will be more valuable than the finest of wines. <laughs> I enjoy my prince speaking in parables. That's lovely. Well, my prince, without being seen anything, I am the traditional prime minister of this land. I earn it by seeing things the way they are. So, ask me whatever you want to know. And I will tell you. What is the matter between the elders and my father? You mean your father has not told you? He has been asking me to come close to the elders so that I can learn wisdom. But I've been the one turning deaf ears. But now I want to know. That's good. And I will tell you. Good. In this kingdom, there's a festival called Ode. My prince, certain things are better not said in the presence of strangers. Trusted strangers are allowed to join our masquerade court. He's more than a stranger now. Well, if you say so, let me go back to my story. Uh, Igwe, the chair shared this nightmare with me, and I thought it's wise for you to hear it. So, when have I become a sorcerer that I have the capability to interpret dreams and nightmares? Igwe, it's about the palace, and you need to hear it. It's all right. Let's hear it. Long live your majesty. In the dream, I saw a big tree fell into the palace. People were terrified. Everybody gathered to know what happened. And surprisingly, the tree stood erect in the palace and started to grow. Now, in this your dream, where was my family and I? Your Majesty, we sat through the ruins, but we couldn't find you. You were nowhere to be found. What of my children? Your Majesty's dissenting. We couldn't find them. Couldn't find anybody.
I think I have to resign from this work. What is it again? Things are getting worse every day in this palace. Eh? Can't you see it? My problem with you is that you don't mind your business. Okay. As long as no one is disturbing you, do your job and walk away. But no, you want to poke nose, you want to know everything. You keep complaining. What is your problem? I think it's better eh, you just leave. Because I can see you are tired of working here. Uh -uh. Mm. I am not tired now. I'm, I'm just scared. Scared of what? I'm not afraid. Eh? I'm just... My princess. My princess. My princess. My princess. My princess. Please, can we go back to your room so you change? You can't go out like this, please. My princess. My princess. My, my princess, please, let's go. My princess. For the first time in the history of this land, that the princess has gone mad. I wonder what the king will be saying now. I, I do not care what he, what he will say. Look, this, that is a sign that calamity has befallen this land. I think it's time I resign my appointment as a member of the king's cabinet. What? Ah, do you know what that means? <laughs> okay. I do not want this calamity to befall me and my household. I can't believe you are saying this. This land needs us more this time. <laughs> I have proffered solutions severally to the king, but he don't use them. You can imagine what has just happened. Is it not obvious to us that the king could do worse things than we can imagine? I wish not to stay here to be consumed by another man's sin. This is very, very unfair. The act of cowardice which you are trying to exhibit here is what we have been accused of. This is the time to stick our life for this purpose and force a change. What? Don't chicken out. Can't me out of it. Let somebody see, not be upon my head. Father, why have you refused to put the mad dog in its place? Why have you let this spread so wild when you know what to do to quench it? Why are you asking these questions? You sound as if you are just coming back from exile. Are you stupid? Father, I'm sorry for not living up to my responsibility. I take the blame for my naivety, but that doesn't justify your silence to this storm. And who told you I was silent? I asked you to follow up things so that you will understand what is going on, but you refused. When is all the festival coming up? Oh, if I do that festival, you will die. What? You heard me right. What is it? You're always moody these days. What is the problem? 
I'm having a bad feeling about your brother. Mama. Mama, if you're missing Inzube, just tell me. I'll call him for you. I'll call him to come and see you. Mama Inzube is fine. I want him to come back tomorrow. I wish he can come back. I want to see him. T tomorrow. <laughs> Baba, Baba, should I call Inzube for you? Should I call brother Inzube for you? See, you have to go and bring my phone. Let me call him. I have a feeling that all is not well with him. Something is wrong somewhere. Mama, Brother Zube is fine. I spoke to him just a few days ago. Stop bothering yourself. Hmm? You know, go. If I don't see Zube tomorrow, I must go and look for him. Period. <laughs> Mama, Mama Zube is fine. You don't need to go and look for him. Hmm? Now stop bothering yourself. Brother Zube is fine. Hmm? No, Mama, you know, go. I can't really explain what came over me. To think I was rejecting in my mind to be the next king of this land. It's unbelievable. Something strange is really happening to this royal home. Everything don't seem to be right. Yeah. You're right. That's why you have to talk to your father. Be very, very inquisitive about your decision. This is not the time to give him rest of mind. Yeah, I waited for him for hours so that we can talk. But he didn't show up. That might be one of his gimmicks. You just have to wait for him at his chamber. He must tell you what you need to know. You have to man up. Ask him questions. He needs to tell you something. Something that you need to know. I'm sorry, dear. Feel free to take your calls anytime you're with me. Stop seeing it as an offense. Uh, I'm sorry, it's my, my sister calling. Me. She said my, my mom has been complaining that she wants to see me. I said no, and since then she's been calling me. And why don't you want to go and see them? Because I can't leave uh, in a difficult time. In fact, time. Uzubechi, you will go and see them tomorrow, right? But make sure you don't stay too long. Just need to see them. Thank you. You just shout for nothing. No, she, she was sitting somewhere, so I thought she was... Kids, why don't you scream so loud as if you saw a ghost? What are you doing here by this time of the night? Since I left the princess's room, she has never stopped crying since she gained consciousness. Hmm. The princess ran mad in our own very eyes. And that is very, very strange. Hmm. I must tell you the truth though. I'm afraid of this palace right now. And I can't wait to leave. <laughs> this is the worst time to leave, eh? Mm. The princess will be disappointed. Whatever he thinks, I think he has nothing to do with us. No. I am the only daughter of my mother. And I can't risk it. I can't die for what I don't know. Listen to me, if I must tell you the truth, I came here to pick a few of my things. I am leaving first thing tomorrow morning. I cannot die for what I don't know. Hm. Kate, Kate, please don't leave. The princess will be disappointed. It's so obvious that what is happening in this palace is spiritual. I am the breadwinner of my family. And I can't die for nothing. No. I'm still here just because of the fat salary I am getting. No, I can't get it from anywhere else. So that is why I'm still here. Please, oh, I'm leaving this palace. You know what? I overheard the queen that she's going to add 20, 20,000 naira to each of our salary. Eh? 20,000? Yes. 20, 20,000 naira to our salary. You're lying. 
You don't not believe true. Me. You don't believe me. Twenty thousand. Mm -hmm. Hey. If you don't believe me, and you want to leave. Mm, go now. If you want to stay, stay. Twenty thousand. Mm -hmm. Hey. That's so please, I'm begging you, don't leave, please. Hmm? Twenty thousand left. If you want to go, go. Hey, that's money. Mm -hmm. Father, tell me what I need to know. My ears are itching to hear from you. My son, I wish we have the depths to go through this. A foolish man was bragging about the life that was given to him to keep. Forgetting that even if he keeps it for a hundred years, the owner we eventually come for it. Anything that one gets from the benevolence of someone else will eventually return to the owner unconditionally. That is why we die, my son, even if we don't want to. For the life we live is not ours. You scare me. Am I going to die? You don't need to fear, my son. Don't fear death, for no one will survive it. There is an adage, there is an adage that says, if you don't lay emphasis on death to kids, they will not know the importance of death. And they will not know that death is real. Oh my goodness. This is sounding scarier than I thought. Are we all going to die? Tell me, what's going on? Just tell me the truth. What's happening? Hmm. Before my father died, he made shocking revelations to me. And up to date, I found it difficult to digest them. Could you be my son? Mm -hmm. I must tell you this story. My father told me this story when I was about your age. During the reign of Igor Toboro, he lived so old. People were saying he lived up to 200 years. All his children and grandchildren got old and died. His great-grandchildren became jealous of how long he had lived. And they were impatient. They wanted the throne. So they planned to eliminate the king. And they almost succeeded if not for one great man that was a guard in the palace, Agadaba. Agadaba stopped them. Agadaba saved the life of the king. And when the king heard about it, he placed a curse on his great-grandchildren that they would suffer till the seventh generation and he made a decree that Agadaba should be made the king of this our great kingdom when he joined his ancestors. He did not only say it as a word, he took an oath before the great shrine of Omoba. And that oath was sealed with seven virgins until this day that oath remained. 
You see, up to this day, that family has been suffering. They have suffered a lot of misfortune and untimely death. This is a heavy story. But Father, has the throne returned to the original owners? It will soon return. We are the descendants of Agadabwa. You mean we are not the rightful owners of this throne? Unfortunately, my son, it is true. How many people know about this? <sighs> the chief priest and a few elders. Any attempt for any of them to want to reveal this secret to anyone the gods would make that person dumb for the rest of his life. And where is the problem coming from? Wait, hold on. Does it mean that the seven generations are over already? And you are the seventh generation. What? You mean my son will not be king after me? Yes, my son. The throne must return to the original owners. The throne will only remain in this family if there is nobody remaining from that line. Father, can I know the family? A joke, my son. You see, sometimes life smiles at you, gives you what you duly deserve. Enjoy it while it lasts. When it's time to let go, don't be stingy. Just let it go. I've heard you, Father. But I would like to know the family. I don't think you are ready to know the family. When you are truly ready, I will know. Then, I will find out from the chief priest. Not while I'm still alive. I will not let you create a stain in my reign. I will hand over to you in peace and with pride. If you want to cause a stain, let it be when I'm gone. And remember that oath was said with seven virgins. That triggered a lot of bitterness in my heart. You mean I won't be king after you? You will be king. As a matter of fact, since I became king, I've been paving the way for you. And that is why I felt so bad when you were not following up with me. I'm very sorry about that. Honestly, I don't know what came over me. But what did you do? Is it possible to beat that oath? As soon as I became king, I started finding out the descendants of Otobol. Oh yeah, I was about asking you that. I would like to know them too. Well, the family is pretty small. Everyone avoids them. Probably because of the misfortune that always before them. Well, a um, few years after I became king, I started visiting the, the home of the poor, you know, 
find out what their problems are and how I can be of help to them. That was how I was able to pick out the descendants of Otobolo. <laughs> were highly recommended for this job. I hope you will not fail me. I was in the army. I smoothly accomplished many military tactics. This is not a job for me. It's alright. Um, you have this. You will find pictures and addresses of... You know what I mean. If you come with good news, I will reward you handsomely. Okay? Consider it done. But remember, I don't joke with my money. Ah, come on, young man. You of all people should know that money is not an issue where I, the king, is concerned. Okay? You just do a clean job. And I can guarantee you, I can even give you three times the amount we agreed, okay? You go. I will be on my way. Can't do the job. Thank you. What? You mean you wiped out an entire lineage? My son, that was the greatest massacre that this land has ever experienced. Well, but um, with the help of the chief priest, a huge sacrifice was made and uh, the whole tension died. Was the chief priest in support of what you did? Well, he wasn't, but uh, he had no option. He had to obey me and uh, make sure that the secret is kept. However, I did some other things in order to quell everything. All right. So, what is happening now could be karma finding its way back. Karma obeys the gods. If you make peace with them, karma will have no hold on you. Have you ever wondered why kings do a lot of atrocities and they go scot-free? It's simply because they appease the gods and the gods keep karma away from them. If I appease the gods now, all this will stop. You should have appeased the gods long before now. This shame would have been averted. Well, the chief priest refused to perform the sacrifice. You know, and uh, I had to travel to Njama Kingdom, our neighboring village, to meet their chief priest, who agreed to help appease the gods. He's holding it. It should be done as quick as possible. Well, you're correct, but um, the requirements are not yet complete. I'm hopeful very soon they will be complete. Why did you say that I would die if you allowed the Ode Festival to take place? Your Majesty, there has been a heavy revelation from the gods. And it is pertinent that you hear it. What is the revelation? Say it. The gods said 
If you introduce your son as your successor on the day of the Odi festival, he will die. You are a liar. My son will not die. The words of the gods cannot be disputed. Udoma, those words are not from the gods. Now, tell me the truth. Are you by any means I my throne? It will be a sacrilege for me to do so. I am the mouthpiece of the gods, and that I remain. You talk to me as if I know nothing. Now let me remind you, I am the great king of our magic kingdom. No one, I repeat, no one can sit on this throne except I hand over the staff of authority of this kingdom to that person. If you think that I will hand over the staff of authority to any other person apart from my son, then you have another thing coming. You have stained the throne. The gods frown at you. Then tell me. Tell me how we can appease the gods. After all, you are the chief priest. The gods did not permit me to do so. In that case, you have no business here. Now leave my palace and never come back. Leave! What are you still waiting for? That was how I sent him away and ordered him not to come close to the palace again. Father, you shouldn't have thrown him away. I'm sure if both of you are still together, he would have found a way out of this problem. Ah, no, he won't. As a king to be, you have to learn how to read the handwriting on the wall. That way, you will know when to move or stay. At a point I noticed that uh, he was opposing my orders and was no longer carrying out my instructions. He started telling me things that I am sure were not from the gods. That was when I knew that he was working with some bad people to take away the throne from my family. Father, are you sure the chief priest of Njama will find a lasting solution to this problem? I sense fear in your voice. Kill that feeling. That is if you want to be a king. My son, the future of any kingdom lies in the hands of the king. Well, after appeasing the gods, I will reshape this land and abolish any tradition or deity that contradicts my wish for this kingdom. What took you to that kingdom? Not even in the village, but in the palace. Mama, do I need to say this over and over again? I told you that I love working in the palace. You know that about me. So why are you still asking me? You're no longer going to do that job again. Why? I I'm no longer comfortable with your job. 
comfortable. Well, how? Didn't I tell you I've been promoted? I'm no longer the gate man. How do you think I've been getting money to, to be doing all these things in, in, in this house? Mama, please don't go there. Or please, don't, don't even go there. Well, Mama, come to think of it. That job is not really bad, though. Hmm? Brother here has been taking care of a lot of things in the house. He's been using the money he gets from there to take care of us. Will you shut up? Shut up! Ken Kema! What do you know? Only Fema! Brother, I'll be taking care of you. Must you take a job because the pay is high? Eh? Before you take any job, you have to kneel down. Ask God to reveal the secret behind the job to you. To be well here. He's no longer going to work there, or Mangawa, unless he will kill me first. Mama, what, what do you mean? I am the personal assistant to the heir apparent to the throne. When he becomes the king, do, do, do you know what that means? Eh? What could possibly happen to me in the palace where they have security all over? Oh, so we're a personal assistant to uh, God. That is what makes sense. Mananka, personal assistant to heir apparent to the throne. Okay, for portal. Let me tell you. I have been having serious nightmares concerning that uh, palace. So I don't want anything to happen to you. You are my only child. I'm my only what son. What will happen to me now? It's because you've been thinking a whole lot about the palace. You've been thinking. That's why. Nothing will happen to me. See, eh? I have already told your uncle to get a job for you in the city. Akwe for the palace, huh? you are no longer going to work there unless you will kill me. Talk to your brother. Mm. You are not going back there. Did I tell you I need a job? Please do. You people are spreading fake rumor about the palace simply because you want to bring the king down. Uh, will I, a title chief, condemn my own king just because of uh, no tangible reason? Look, I saw Adaisi run mad even before the king and his wife. I witnessed it first hand. This sounds very dirty to be true. I mean, what could make a member of the royal home go mad? It is impossible. Very impossible. Nemesis is befalling this land right under our nose. And we are all keeping quiet. I think we should force the king to say what is going on. Did you say force? <laughs> Did you hear yourself talk? Is there a bit, are you okay? I'm very okay. Let us at least mobilize the youth to host a protest against the king. The king must tell us what is happening in this community. I will not be part of this dirty plot against the king of the kingdom. A king that has been good to every person in the kingdom. Agreed you could have some flaws. But that does not mean that we are all clean. No one is perfect. Neither you nor I. I am out of here. <clears throat> I will not be part of this too. I am leaving two of you. Mm. Offer a man. Even go. you. Yes. Offer a man. Ah! Let them go, go away. We know what to do. Yes. But what I've been told, let yes. them go. Let them go. We oh, know who I have the gods. Your heart is heavy. Yes, indeed, my heart is heavy. Some people are rising up against the king. And I don't think it would be fair for you to sit down here and allow that to happen. You know, are you aware that the gods are not happy with the king? Yes, I am aware. But it is not for us the subjects to discipline the king for offending the gods. Why protest against the king who has done well to his people? It is unfair. Oh no. Only the gods know what is fair and unfair. But take this home. A mighty rain is about to fall in Amaji. 
It is time for every man to go into his barn and count his yams. Because you never know how many you will lose when the time comes. And the gods. What is it that can affect us like that? What have we done? The gods cannot be unfair. No man can harm who is at peace with his chi. Keep that at the back of your mind. Of the gods, I have heard you. Obidi, Aneloka. Chichi, I greet you. Welcome. Thank you very much. You are the most influential youths we have in this land. There is a big problem that we need your influences to act on. Uh, what is the problem that we don't know about? Mm, yes, I believe that uh, this land is the envy of other communities. Yes. Ichi. Talk to us. What is this big problem you are talking about? Have you heard of the Ode Festival before? Yes. My father told me about that festival, which I've been looking forward for. That is just the problem. <laughs> you see, the king avoiding that festival means there is something he's holding that he's not telling us. Mm. Okay. We have discussed this and praised for the king to do this festival or to tell us the reason why he is food dragging on doing this festival but he has refused to talk to us I mean that's not a big problem if the king has refused to do the festival I mean that means it is not important you won't understand <laughs> That is just the problem. Yes. A very big problem. How? Now, let me tell you. His refusal in doing that festival means that he's holding a secret against this land that we need to know. <sighs> Ichie. Yes. What do you want us to do? Mm. Good. Tell yes. us. Okay. What do you want us to do? You see, uh, we might not be able to fight him. For he is the king. He can decide whatever he wants to do. But we can protest against him. Yes. You see, we can make him know the power of the masses. Oh, yes. Just mobilize the youths. Yes. And let us show him what the strong power of the, of the masses could do. <laughs> what is funny here? <laughs> it is. Ichi, listen to yourself. I mean, did you hear yourself speak? Wait, 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 wait. Ichi, so you want us, you want us now to lose the little respect we've managed to gather from these people, right? But this is what is beneficial to all of us. 
I mean beneficial to all of us. So, two of you are the enemies of the king. Yes. Yes. No, 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 no. You are getting it all wrong. You are getting it wrong. Eh? Look, look at this. Man. We are fighting for the food for the of the masses and of this the land. Community. We are fighting for the food of the land. I cannot believe this. So, the both of you want to use us mm -hmm. to protest against the king. A king that has favored every single member of this community, including both of you. of you. You two are evil. Son! You are evil. You are getting it all wrong. You are getting it wrong. We are not evil. Mm. So what the, are you? the truth of the matter is this that, that the king might be concealing a secret which might turn out later to haunt the entire community. That is the dangerous aspect of this. <laughs> Ichie. Ichie. Yes. I have marked your faces, Ichie. Anything that happens to the king and the royal family, the youths will hold you responsible, will not take it lightly with you. We are not quarreling with you people. We are just laying our mind. We are, we are trying to tell you something that is important. Evil men with red caps. Evil men. Look at the both of you. See their caps. Think about it, oh. They might not understand. They might not understand. That is but the problem. Time will tell. Yes. Zuba, I think I like this your new job. Very, very easy and the pay is good. Yes, I mean. <laughs> I'm more like the prince's personal assistant now. All I do is to advise him, you know, and follow him around with a good payment. Is it not good? You know, I frowned at you going to that place to work as a gate uh -huh. man. And I know Mama would not be happy to hear that that time. That's what I was telling you people that time. At least you must have to start from somewhere. Look at me today. But the problem I'm having right now is, is Mama. Mama is just giving me a headache. She doesn't want me to work there. I don't understand. Didn't you tell her that you're no longer the gate man, that you've been promoted to the personal assistant? I did, though. I told her. But well, because of her constant nightmares and all of that, she's just against it. No, no, no. You have to talk to her. You don't have to miss that job. Me, I even want to work in that palace. My brother, I have spoken to Mama. There is no how I have not, in fact, made her see reasons with me, but she's just against it. So this is the part you need to step in. Come and help me talk to her. Let her see reasons. Let her understand that this is a good opportunity. Golden opportunity people have been looking for. Please. I can't lose that job because of her. I can't. What if Mama's fears are right? Huh? What if there is something scary about that job that you don't know? How? That job is too lucrative to be real. You know, my father once told me that I should not drink water because it's served in a golden cup. Content of golden cups are not golden as the cup. You have to think about it. Consider what you've seen so far in that job. Not that want to become you must pass through fire. No one picks up a dead lion right in is compound and they may know only the ghost can do that to you. Makadioti had a cause if I follow me no more. I will not be the Raji Eji Tredja and Messiah Gibu me. Nzubechi Mamo Nzube. Nzubechi Mamo. The ghost loves you so much. Zuba, 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 Zuba,
Brother, brother, what is it? You've been moody since you came back. Talk to me, what is the problem? It's life. I don't know what women really, really want. I saw a former. Brother, forget about that girl and move on. Since you started dating one useless guy like that, she has been misbehaving. Please forget about her, John. Honestly, I am heartbroken. That girl gave me the impression that she cannot live without me. She made me believe that she's so much in love with me. Mm. Huh? Be because of what? Even if I walk where they pack feces, is, is, that, is that why she will give up on, on our love? Mm. Huh? Is love not for better for worse? Mm, brother. What did I really do wrong for her to leave me like that? Ha! Brother. Mm -hmm. Brother. Thank God that that girl left on time. You see, she has shown her true color. Ah, brother, that girl does not really love you. Mm -mm. She does not love you. Because if she truly loves you, she wouldn't leave you. Or probably, okay, let's just say she will leave. But at least, whenever she sees you, she's supposed to accord you some respect. But no, she wouldn't. So, brother, you should be thanking God for saving you from future problems. Ah. Hello, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Um... There is something I just found out. I think you have to come back. We'll have a lot to discuss. Oh, okay, okay sir. You want me to start coming now? It's already late. Uh, you have to come back tomorrow morning. First thing tomorrow morning. Tomorrow? Okay, okay, sir. I'll, I'll come tomorrow. The first thing... You are going nowhere. Hello? Please, I don't know who you are. And I don't want to sound rude to you. My son is no longer coming to work for you. Go and get another rich man. Did you hear me? Who is this? I, I, I am... I am his best mother. I am his mother. Leave me alone. Give my... Get another get man for yourself. Give my phone. Mom, mom, mom. What is she saying? What is wrong with you? What is this now? What, what, what is the meaning of this? This is wrong now! This, this, this is wrong! What is wrong? Is it Jesus Christ? Can't I talk to him as I want? You are no longer going to that place, so you are not going to work for them. I will not forgive myself if anything happens to you. You are my only son. Eh? I have, I, I, they have shown me everything about that palace. You know what I say? Whatever happens, you are not going back. Talk to your brother. Unless you want to kill me or you want to beat me, you are not going there. Talk to Mama. Oh. You better talk to her. Oh. You better talk to her. Oh. I, I, I won't take this next time. Oh. What, what, what's the meaning of this now? But, but brother, come to think of it. Coming to drag my phone. Brother, 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 calm down. Hmm? But come to think of it. Whenever you see Mama behave like this, that means she's sure of her feelings. Are, are, are you mad? Are you, are you mad? What, 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 what kind of stupid feelings? I should leave, leave this lucrative job for what? What kind of stupid feelings is that? Okay, 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 brother, calm down. Calm down, okay? I don't even know what to tell the prince. Brother, brother, calm down, please. Calm down. Okay, even if you have to go back to the palace, you have to pray to God and ask for his directions. Hmm? Okay, you have to pray to God very well. Please, enough of this. Please, please, please enough you. of this first. Ah.
the hell are you talking about? Huh? Uh, uh, Your Majesty, you know I am not the one carrying out all this operation myself. Are you not stupid? Huh? You don't want to take responsibility for your actions? You told me you were going to recruit trusted hands. Yes, Your Majesty, but... They don't want both. Save that explanation to yourself. Now let me warn you. My name must not be mentioned. Is that okay? Make sure you clear your mess. Is that understood? Yes, Your Majesty, but they are capable. You just let me put nonsense. Capable how? They are capable and they were caught? Huh? Now, if my name is mentioned, if my name is dragged along the mud, you will regret ever crossing path with someone like me. Get out of my sight, idiot. Get out. The gods are in tears. Man has failed the gods. And the gates of shame has been thrown open against this land. Eye of the gods, how do we arrest this evil that is looming over this community? Igbe Jogu has to listen. His mind should be able to grow the words of the gods in his subconscious so that what started as celebration will not end in great shame. See? But he doesn't listen to anybody. I think he should help us talk to the people. Let them know that the king they love so much holds evil against this land. How dare you try to turn the people against the throne? Do you want to punish the man who has offended the gods? No. But we shouldn't allow him to bring shame to us. Whatever he did, he did against the gods. Do not be more concerned than the gods. All you have to do is pray that the gods will protect you and your household from the evil wind that's already blowing. Try not to play on the wear of the wind. What's up, girl? Anna. a terrible nightmare last night and I have not been myself since morning. The same with me. I, I, I think it's time we remove our mind from the fat amount we've been paid here. Eh? It's high time we left now. My dear, <sighs> I have already told the queen that I want to leave. And she asked me to stay to you next week so that she will find a replacement for me. Okay, is this how wicked you are? Eh? So we are this wicked. I've been saying I want to leave, I want to leave. Are you discouraging me not to? So you want to leave and you don't even bother to tell me. No, no, please don't take it that way. I don't just want it to look as if I am discouraging other people from staying. Just because I want to go. Oh. Please understand me. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I understand. Mm? So you want to leave me here? You want to leave me here, Abby? I thought we are friends. So this is how bad you are. All this your beauty. Hey, hey, wait, wait. Cello, all this your beauty. When people are seeing you, they will think you are innocent. But you are so wicked. No problem. I've heard you. No problem at all. Hey, hey, hey. hold it. So bad, bro.
Mom. Mom. You don't look happy. What troubles you? Son, two of the palacemates want to leave. But mom, that shouldn't bother you. There are more than a million people who are willing to work here if they have the chance to. It doesn't cost anything to replace them. So if they want to go, they can go. So replacing them is not the problem. I think I know why they want to leave. I guess they are afraid. I can feel some negative energies in this palace. I think they are feeling it too. Mom, could you believe Uzubichi's mother told me over the phone that Uzubichi would never come back to this palace to work again? Oh no. I was shocked when I heard it. No. He cannot leave here at this time. Yeah, exactly my point. Could be scaring them all away in this palace. I don't understand. Even if we can replace every other person, how do we replace Zubechi? Huh. Oh my God! I know how helpful he has been to you, son. I think replacing them is not the problem. We need to find solution to the main problem. I think I know the problem now. I just need someone that will help me find a solution to this problem. You do? So you mind sharing with me? Dead man. Dead man, I know you are a grandfather in this business. And I believe that you can help me out. You know what? I'm only going to do this for you. And that is because I've heard so much about you. And I love hard men. You know you are a hard man. Hmm? But you know I don't joke with my money. Dead man, your money is not the problem. Tell me the price and I will pay you in full. I like the sound of that. I really love that sound. That is not a problem. You see, for those guys already in the net, I'm going to silence them before they start singing like parrots. As for the virgins, like I said, I will get those ones for you before the weekend. Hmm? Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I don't like verbal appreciations. I only feel it drops into my account. Bwah! Like the walls collapse into the ground. I hope you understand what I mean. Dead man, I understand everything. That's good. Like I said, let me know your price. And I will pay you in full. But for the virgins, it's very, very important. I already told you about those virgins. That is even the smallest of them all. And like I said before, I will provide them before the weekend. Dead man, I trust you. Thank you for trusting me. Thank you. Hmm? You don't have a problem. What is it? Are you okay? Are you alright? This is the 
Crown Prince of a Magic Kingdom. <gasps> hey, Your oh. Highness, you are welcome to our poor home. I'm, I'm sorry, hope we have not offended you. Oh, not really, Mama. Please, I have come to ask you for a favor. Um, um, Mama, Mama, let me go inside and um, get a seat Go and get him. a seat for him. Zubichi, mm -hmm. are you okay? Mm -hmm. You sure? I will make sure he returns here safely. He has always told me how much he loves working at the palace. Maybe it's his destiny to help you in your own time. But you will promise me that nothing will happen to him. You know, he is my only son. He is all I've got. Please, if you promise me that, I will leave him to go with you. I give you my word. I have guards that always protect the palace. The gods of my land also keep the palace of danger. I give you my word again. Thank you. Zube, what are you waiting for? Why don't you go in there, dress up and bring your bag? Don't keep the prince waiting. Are you sure he's okay? He's fine. He just woke up from sleep, as you know. Yeah. But you don't look like it. I expect that you should be happy by now. Isn't that what you always wanted? I just had a terrible dream right now. I just wish I can tell Mama about it. Brother. Please don't try it. Whatever dream you had, please don't tell Mama. I am very certain that if you tell her anything about dreams, she wouldn't let you get anywhere. Please, don't try it. Please, I was doing something at the backyard. Let me continue. Please, please give me water to drink. Okay, brother. <laughs> Because loves you so much. Oh, please manage this. I will always come to check on you. Ah. Hey, you call this manage? It's too much, Joe. Oh. Have it. Um, thank you very much, Your Highness. You're welcome. May God bless and replenish for you in two million folds. Please. Take good care of my son for me. Like I told you before, he is all I have. Biko. You have nothing to worry about. Thank you once again. It's all right. <sighs> I'm a man, we're a 
What my eye just saw. Now, now, now. Yeah? My mouth cannot tell. My mouth cannot tell you. Oh. You saw the mad princess running, right? You, you have seen her too. It hasn't just start today. Okay. Oh, yes. You see, when I was telling you the other time that we should protest against the king, you thought I was being rebellious. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is just the beginning of strange things you are going to be seeing in this land. Ah. You were laughing the other time I was telling you about. Ichie, no, no. What is the worst that will happen again, Ichie? The princess is mad. What are we going to do, Ichie? <laughs> well, I must tell you. I have decided to renege on anything that has to do with this kingdom. Oh yes, what I have decided now in my mind is whatever happens, my own is just to sit down, watch, and walk away. Oh yes, anyway, for your information, before you stopped me, I was having an important thing I was going to do somewhere. Ichi. So please, I beg to leave. Ichi, a princess is mad though. Ichie! Hi! Your Majesty, I'm finished. I am finished in this land. What are we going to do? How are we going to best this shame? Hi! Look, woman, calm down. What is it? Eh? Okay. I'm trying to handle the situation the best way I can. Okay. Are you panicking? This is a big shame. This is a big shame. Our enemies will laugh at us. Ha, she should have gotten out of the palace in the first place. Where were the guards when she left? Oh no, what is this? Huh? Why are you panicking like a woman? Where in this world has panicking solved any problem? Huh? People should please calm down. I'm trying to make us here to, so that I can resolve this issue. You're just disturbing me with your panicking. What is this? I am sorry, Your Majesty. One with the is with the majority. Oh, because we 
must come to pass. No matter how them try to hinder you to go, when you chip a lesson, if a chip will You see her? I don't see her. Eh? Hey. You mean you don't see her? So you didn't see her? Hey! Did she disappear into the thing? How do we even go back to the palace and stand before the king and tell him that we do not see her? <laughs> there is no way we'll go back to that palace if we do not see her. Because it's better we'll search for her even till tomorrow. We can't go back to the palace without her. You know that. Let's, let's go, let's go back. Let's go. Oh. No freedom in this palace. Everybody is a suspect. This is the height of it. Why is the queen taking it too long to approve my resignation now? What is wrong with you? Eh? How do you reason things, Amaka? Adeze is mad. And the only thing you could think of is leaving the palace. Don't even try to preach to me again. This is a palace. Nothing happened for no reason. Eh? Can't you see it? All the time everyone will be shouting, hey, 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 as if they saw a ghost. A strange force is haunting this palace, and I am not afraid to say it. Ha. I think I'm beginning to believe Amaka on this. So. Kids, even you. My nightmares these days is becoming something else. I have even told the queen that I want to leave. What? Yes. Leaving the palace at this critical time is so unfair. My dear, we are not siblings. We are not even created on the same day. So it's obvious we don't have anything in common. If it's your destiny to risk your life just to save this palace, then it's not my destiny to do so. I have a family to take care of. So I'm leaving here first thing tomorrow morning with or without the Queen's approval. Do you understand it? But every time everybody will shout. Hey, hey, hey. See, they're so good. Please don't leave. Hmm. I was even the first to tell the Queen that I want to leave the palace. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's better to stay without a job than to have a job that gives you no peace of mind. Hmm. I'm leaving, you know. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I'm going. I can't stay here anymore. Kate, please don't leave. Ah. I am begging you. Please no. don't leave. How you? Oh, because we must come to pass. No matter how them try to hinder you to go. When you chip a lesson. When you chip a lesson. If a chip will what because you say, must stand up. When you chip a lesson, if a chip will what because you say, Doctor, doctor, the princess has gone mad again. The princess? Yes. 
Oh no, not again. Not again this time. Ah. Why? You can go, 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 go. I'll, I'll join you. In. I'll join you. In. I'll do the best I can as long as she stays here. But I suggest you, you, you send her abroad. I mean, since we have not been able to dictate any fault in her system that could lead to this, I think she should be sent to a place where sophisticated equipment can be used to examine her. But I would like her to be here while I prepare her document. If that be the case, then she can stay here as long as you want it. But you know, issues like this are not meant to be kept for a long time. Did you notice that Nzube was not happy while leaving? Hmm. Yes, Mama. He said he had a scary dream before the prince came. So, Are you serious? Then why didn't you tell me about it? Mama, Nzube is a man. He can handle whatever challenges that comes his way. So, stop treating him as if he's a child. Okay, he can take care of himself. When you become a mother, you will know the reason mothers are worried whenever their children are facing danger. It takes pain to bet a child. But raising the child will cost a chunk of your life. Mama, Mama, come off it. It's only God that protects his children. Even if Brother's best stays there with us, if God turns his eyes away from him, he won't still be saved. So the only thing we can do for him is to pray for him. Mama, I've been praying for him. Oh. I hope you've been doing so. That's the only thing. So, don't need to bother ourselves. Every mother. Praise for her children. God, please protect my son for me. Mama, you worry too much, you know. Don't, don't bother yourself. Brother's bay is fine. I was doing something inside. Hmm? You don't need to bother yourself. Oh, because we must come to pass. No matter how them try to hinder reversing on the street. Problem, everyone is complaining. And now, what? This is crazy. So you have to consult the SMO. Okay, yeah, I believe he knows. Of course, he's seeing what's going on. Tell him. He should know if, if there's someone remaining. I must tell you that one person remaining from that massacre must be a golden child. You think so? Yeah. Isn't it obvious? It's obvious, bro. It is done. All the special burdens on your shoulder have been lifted off. You are now free. Kukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukuk
Let us go. go. I know why you want to go, but I am worried for you. Will you be able to get a good job out there? Yes, my queen. Mm -hmm. The God that provided this one for us will provide another one. Yes. Please, my queen, let us go. Yes, you are doing. I know, but I know, but please. It's okay. You can go. Thank you. So Thank you, much. my queen. Thank you. Thank you. May you live long, May my live queen. Long. Thank you. Thank you. The burden has been lifted. Yes, it calls for celebration. Where is my son? Oh, he went out early in the morning. Let's go and bring back our daughter. I'm sure she's fine now. <laughs> This is the message the doctor sent to me. What? For hours now, I've been asking you things about the throne of my fathers. But you kept me quiet as if I'm a mere commoner. These are things you should ask your father, not me. My father has told me a lot. But I just want to know the truth. 
Is there anyone remaining from the lineage of King Otobolo? Your father said he killed them all. Hey, stop telling me what my father said and tell me the truth. Is there anyone remaining from the lineage of King Otobolo? Stab myself to death if you don't tell me what I need to know. Please, please, don't do this. It will be a great taboo if your blood comes on this ground when your father is still wearing the crown. Please, my, my friends, step aside, this will you. If anything happens to me, tell my parents. But I need to do this for my people and myself as well. Step aside. My friends, please, you, you really, you really want to take it to your please. You, you, you don't need to do this. I said, step aside. Can you tell him? I can't tell you the secrets of the throne when your father is still alive. You? Oh, okay, hold on. Let me consult the gods. Eh? If he's still alive, they will bring him back when the time comes. Free? W hold on. A son is alive. A son is alive. The message you sent to me was a mistake. Madam, well, it's not a mistake. I mean, after her reaction yesterday, we decided to run a general body test on her. Then we discovered that she's few weeks pregnant. This is a shame. This is not only a shame to me, but it's a shame to the palace. Madam, I, I, I don't think there's anything to worry about. She's fine. I can guarantee you that. I mean, as at this morning when I check on her, she was even ready to go home. She's fine. You don't understand. What do I tell people? How do I explain it? that my daughter was a virgin till the night she told me she had a dream and saw herself making love to somebody. I, I don't think it's right. Like, there's no way she will get pregnant without having a carnal knowledge of a man. I can vouch for my daughter. You can vouch for her? how possible that is because I was the one that woke her up that day she was stained all over I was the one that cleaned her up in your dreams are you often familiar with the environment you find yourself and the people you see around I often see myself in the palace and of course with people I know. Okay. On the night you lost your virginity, can you still remember who made love to you? Yes. Then he should be arrested. He is responsible for this pregnancy and he can't deny it. You see, those things she often sees as dreams are 
really happening in the reality. Just that she sees reality as though it's a dream. It's, it's, it's a, a medical condition known as sleepwalking. It was just having sleepwalking. Those things happen to we. Who is that fool? Who is that fool that dared to lay his hands upon my daughter? Who is he? What are you going to do concerning what he said? Or are you just going to remain silent and move on with your life? That's what I've been thinking. But I've got to love the fact that I could be a king. Oh, the Ezemo said you can only be king if he's dead. I can't let the throne slip off my fingers. I've already mapped out plans on how to rule over this kingdom. And when that time comes, should I let all that go? Come on, man. Well, my, my prince, you just... You just need to take it easy. You sound so heavy. Just free up your mind. If I should follow my mind, then I will look for him. I can't let him stop me from being the next king of this land. I got an information from a reliable source that the princess is pregnant out of wedlock. We need to ask the king some questions. It is very obvious now that something is wrong in the palace. Hmm. Oh no, you just said my mind. We have a lot of respect for the king. If anything go wrong, we don't overlook him. He may need our help. Maybe, as cabinet chiefs, we should go ask him questions. What the problem is? We may be able to find solution to his problem. If this is the reason you called me here, count me out. I will not be part of it. Ichi, it has not gotten to that. Please, sit down and let us discuss. You see, this is the wrong time to wake up from sleep. I advise you better go back to sleep. You are very correct, my dear. Oh no, you better go back to sleep. And do well to count me out of anything that has to do with the king. I will never go back to that palace again. Not while Igwe Ojogu is still on that throne. It's not possible. Ichie Zerbe, please sit down. Ichie Zerbe, does it mean you want this community to collapse? The essence of having cabinet chiefs like we is because of times like this. When there are issues, we come together, put heads together and fathom out solutions. This was what we wanted to tackle the last time we met. And you scuttled it. Now that the water has reached him throat, you want to get in and call us here to discuss rubbish. I will not be part of this rubbish. I will not be part of this. Oh no. I am seriously disappointed in you. I must tell you. Because you always allow things to get worse before you react, which is very bad. We all know the story of Igwe Ogbona and Agadaka. How the lineage of Igwe Ogbona were murdered in this village. Questions were not asked. Nobody talked about it. Now, not till now, questions are not still asked. My fellow elders, this happened too many years ago. I wasn't even a chief then. Now that you have become a chief, 
What have you done to great issues like this? When I want to bring up issues like this, you will not allow it to see the light of day. All in the name of the king is a good man. So because the king is a good man, we should keep blind eyes to issues that are going wrong under his leadership, isn't it? At this juncture, we can no longer be members of this cabinet again. Let's go. You remember the last time we were at the palace? The king even mentioned it. Oh, yes. So now, we are leaving this community for you people to run. Run it the way you like. We are not part of it. We are leaving. Nonsense. What do you think we will do about this? The community is collapsing. No freedom in this palace. Everybody is a suspect. has crossed the line and the king ordered for his arrest yes what did i do now ordered for my arrest my what did i do i told you to stay clean so that the dog doesn't bite you with the same thing you what, can, can you stop Please showing yourself and no. come here stop dragging him oh, come on. It's an order. How could you? How could you do a thing like that? Do you know what you've done? Damn! Hukoba, your majesty. Take this fool out of my sight. Tie him up. No food, no water. Until I decide on what to do to him. Now take him out. Come on. Come on. A stupid commoner. Getting my daughter pregnant! Oh. But the time has come for you to do the needful. Time has come for you to obey the spirit more than what we were. I think I found out why all these things are happening. I performed the cleansing ritual on the land. You would observe that the strange happenings and spiritual manipulations have stopped. I think this happened because we didn't perform the ritual on time. No, Father. This happened because the gods want to stain the throne on which you sit. So our lineage will be found unworthy to continue ruling this land. Why did you say so? A son from the lineage of Igor Tobolo lives. What? Who told you that? The chief priest. I made him say it. I was shocked when I heard it. I said it. Uduma is wicked. So he knew this all this while and he said nothing. Huh? This man. He wants to take the throne away from my lineage. It will not happen. Father, this is no time to judge or blame anybody. 
How do we locate him? How do I know? It's been ages. And I doubt if we can find him. We really need to find him as soon as possible. Time is closing in on us. And I think the gods are trying to pull a fast one on us. Father, can you remember the man you sent on that execution? Can you tell his whereabouts? His name is Janta. Wait. Okoba will help us find him. One with the is with the majority. Okirikiri kana bukwasa dianeno. Oh, because we must come to pass. No matter how them try to hinder it to go. Onye chimeleze. Onye chimeleze. I'm so sorry I put you through this. It wasn't intentional. Intentional or not intentional. It's just my fate. Why didn't you deny it? I mean, this could cost you your life. Even if I die. I died saying the truth. It's actually the first time making love to a virgin. Knowing that you did what you did subconsciously. Her mind. I believe that is what my future holds. I like your boldness. And I hope you make it out alive. My princess, the king sends for you. One with the is with the majority. Okay, get it, get it, get it, get it, get because we must come to pass. No matter how them try to hinder it to go. When you cheat my lesson, when you cheat my lesson, if I cheat my lesson. Father, you sent for me. Yes, I did. Get prepared. You are leaving this country in two weeks time. And never come back? What is the point coming back? I mean, instead of you to bring shame to the family, it's better you leave and not come back. And what happens to my baby? Oh, that one is not a problem. I've made arrangement for you to abort it when you get there. Uh, don't worry. The, the, Nobody in the village will hear about it. Never! No! I will never abort my child. Adeze, you have no option on this one. I will not allow you to bring shame to this family. If you don't want to abort it willingly, I will force you to. Read my lips. I am not joking. I'd rather die than abort my child. Adeze. Don't dare me! I will not abort this Thank you. 
To die of hunger, please. No, I'm fine. If I die, let me die. God forbid. God forbid. Nobody will execute you. You will not die. I am praying for you. You will come out of this alive. Look, I don't want to put you in trouble. Let's go and find it. Eat your food. Feed him. Thank you, my friend. Uzbech, I'm so ashamed of you. In my widest dream, I will believe you will allow yourself fall into such temptation. Just pray my father forgives you. You just brought shame upon us and you have to pay dearly for it. Please, temper justice with mercy. Tell that to my father. Shameless thing. I was trying to get my money. You were trying to get your money without doing a proper job? That was the height of mediocrity. Your Majesty, I tried to kill him, but he refused to die. I shot at him severally. Not even a bullet could penetrate him. Not even a scratch on his body. If you knew a bullet could not penetrate him, why didn't you come to me so that I can find another means of killing him? When I saw a woman passing on the road, I decided to give him to the woman. I practically went home with the woman. While I was trying to devise other means to eliminate him, in the process, I was accosted and arrested by the police for other crimes I have committed in the past. I was jailed. They just left me off the hook a year ago. Can you look at the house? Yeah, I can locate it. I think we should go there and find them. Take me there. Whenever you're ready, you, you let me know. Right away. Let's go. One with the is with the majority. Must come to pass, no matter how them try to hinder it. Oh, when you chip a lesson, when you chip a lesson, if a 
Zubichi. And he's almost passing out. Please, Father, I beg you, let him go. Please release him. I beg you in the name of God, please. Adese, please leave. Father, I will leave. I will leave if you release him. You don't seem to get it. This is not about your living. It's about that thing you are carrying in your womb. You have to abort it. I will abort it. I will abort my child. If you let him go. I would do anything you want. About. I thought you said you know the place. It's been over 30 years ago, man. Just take it easy. Listen, you better go back home instead of getting lost in no man's land, alright? What in God's name is all this? You don't yell at Genta. If you don't want to go with me, you better go back home. Hey. What is it? You don't talk to my face that way. Mind your words. Will you shut up?
Tell Okuba to take him to the hospital. He will be going home from there. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> Move it. thinking about that boy. Eh? Thank God he has been released. But what you did to him was wrong. I mean, he is someone's child. Someone's only son. Stop being emotional about him. He's just a nobody. He's a commoner. Well, I can't forget him. I think I love him. Mother, he is nice, he is intelligent, he is smart, he is kind, he is, he is, he is everything, he is just perfect, he is everything. Are you mad? How can you allow yourself to fall in love with a commoner? People like that are meant to be your stewards and not your lover. But he is the first man I have known. You were not conscious. But I felt it, Mother. I still feel it. I feel it every day. Mother, I have feelings for him. Don't allow your father to hear this rubbish from you because he will not take it lightly with you. Anyway, better start packing your tents because I'm sure you're leaving this country earlier than you planned it. Mother! directed by the gods. For today is a great day in the annals of our history. Today is a great day in the life of our community. Today is the day of the gods. The day the gods will manifest in their powers and wisdom. <laughs> What are you doing? The king said you should take me to where I will get treated. Why, why are you pointing that gun at me? In your next world, you will learn how to control your manhood. Ah! What? 
Welcome. Welcome, my prince. You did not tell us you are coming. Do you know them? I hope there is no problem. Sorry. I lost my way. Hey, come back here. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back here. Ah! Oh, descendant of Ibe Okonobi. What the hell? Descendant of Alan. Behold your king. Ibe. Ibe Okonobi. Ibe Okonobi. Ibe Okonobi. Ibe Okonobi. I was married for 10 years without a child. My husband married another wife who gave him children. After many years of humiliation and embarrassment, he sent me out of his house. When I came back, I decided not to marry again. When I told my family about my decision, they gave me here to stay. One day, when I was coming back from seeing a friend, I met one masked man. beautiful day, I automatically became complete. I was overwhelmed with joy. I raised him and I took him as my biological son. When he was five years old, I noticed he needed a companion, someone to play with. I told my sister and begged her. She gave me one of her daughter, which is Nega here. They became siblings. Mama, I can't believe that Nzubeshi is not your son. Honestly. So tell me, whose son is it then? I didn't know. He just handed the child to me and ran away. I did not even care to ask because I was happy. I took care of him with all the love in me. I named him Zubechi the will of God. Because I know that the will of God is for me 
to have a son, a child that I will call mine, after being rejected and condemned by many. I trained him as my own son, as mine. But, come to think of it, how were you able to locate here? On that fateful day when I was carrying that child, absolutely, I didn't know what I would do with him. Not until I saw you. When I looked at you, the way you dressed, looking so decent and responsible. So I decided to give the child to you so you could take care of him. I followed you home to be sure you don't throw away the child. That was how I got to know this place. Um, but how did you come to know the prince? I just told him about it and he decided to accompany me. My prince, where is my son? Is everything okay with him? I didn't know we were coming here. Honestly, I'm, I'm really short of words. This world is a small place. He must have joined his ancestors by now. I ordered for his execution. Father, he's the boy Janta saved. The only man remaining from the lineage of Igwo Tobolo. What? And he's been with us in this palace all this while? Without our knowing? Some elders are out there with chief priest. They say they want to see you, sir. The chief priest! Let's go. What is going on there? What is going on here? You were joking. You were joking. The gods of Amaji Kingdom have come to reclaim their throne. They say you are no longer fit to occupy this throne because your hands are soiled with innocent blood. Lie. Lie. This is propaganda against my family and I. This is blasphemy. And the gods. We never forgive you for this. Now leave my palace. Leave! Hey. As I leave! Hey. believe my ears. Zube is now a king. I can't equally believe my ears. You know, the way Zube was talking about walking in the palace, I thought he was out of his mind. <laughs> I'm so happy for brother Zube. I'm very, very happy for him. Seriously. <laughs> I am very happy for him. Do you know that we have to <laughs> apologize to Zube for not being supportive? Because all of us were against him when he was pushing to walk in the palace. <laughs> Onyema, let me tell you. Do you know that Brother Zube sent the palace guard to come and tell us to get ready to go to the palace by the weekend? 
I cannot wait to go to the palace, Baba. Hey, God, no. My own Zubem. Brother Zubem. Hey, Baba, I can't wait. Seriously. Mm. <laughs> this life is somehow, and this world is somehow too. It turns round and round and round. Coming to think of it, who could have believed that I was raising a king all this while? Eh? But what if I had rejected him by the time they gave him to me? Or even maltreated him? Now that he has become a king, he would have come to fight me. But now I can't wait to go to the palace. Oh my god, to get to the palace. I can't wait. Thank you. 